Hey, so this is the Horace Flash coming to you from my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. So I'm going to be doing my whole face and let's just see what happens. I've just got on a thin layer of Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. I really like this because it's really nice and thin and it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. So if you just want that little bit of brightness and that little bit of shine before you go out, and if you're not using any makeup or if you're using makeup, you can use it, so. So, the first thing I'm going to be using is La Roche-Posay's BB Blur Cream. It's actually more like a mousse, it's a cream mousse that you put on your face. Uh, you can just put this on and leave it, or you can use it as a great base. So, I'm going to be using it as a really nice base, just before I put my foundation on. So, here we go. And it just blurs away any imperfections on your skin. If you have quite an uneven skin tone like I do, it just makes everything just look so much better. I've almost run out of this, so I need to get another one. So I'm just applying it to the main areas of my face, and then I'm just gonna be blending it in with this brush. I love this brush, it's really nice because it's got a nice pointy tip. see that it's really brightened up my skin, it's fixed all of those red areas and it's a great base that you can either leave on just as or you can go ahead and do some more. So I'm going to do some more. I'm going to be using a Ubu brush in number 20 which is a really good staple foundation brush and my favourite foundation which is Vichy Derma Blend. It's great if you have yellow skin tone. I find that this really matches the look that I want to go for. It gives you great coverage throughout the day and uh, it's my absolute favourite. I use it every single day. I'm just roughly doing this because I'm going to be using a beauty blender to blend all of this in. Now for the beauty blender. cream contour kit which is available right now at Superdrug and it's a really lovely cream contour kit. Now I've been using powder contour for quite a while now and so I've recently made the switch to the sleep cream kit and it's fantastic. It's so good. I love it. I use it every single day for work and for going out and everything. So it looks like this and you've got six colours to use, all really nice shades. So I use this one underneath my eyes and around my eyes and to highlight the, the lighter areas, around my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. And then I use a mixture of these colors down the bottom for my contour on my cheeks. Makeup Revolution Contour Brush, which goes really well with this kit. I'm gonna start off using my Beauty Blender and just putting it in there like that. I'm going around the under bits of my eyes just to give that lighter look, which we all want, especially on Monday mornings. And I'm doing it on the bridge of my nose, and I'm gonna blend it up just around my eyebrows as well. And it matches so well with the Vichy Derma Blend, like those two go hand in hand so well, I think. And I'm just gonna lighten up my chin area as well. Now I'm happy with that, I'm going to go straight in and I'm going to go for the darkest colour on the light palette and we're going to do some contour. Here. 
and I think the contour gives a really nice sort of warm glow. It's not too much. And I'm going to switch now to uh, one of my crown brushes, which is C315B Angle Foundation. And I really like this for the nose. So I'm going to go in with this colour and just sort of shape out the area that I want the contour to go before I start blending. So all the way from the brow, sort of following that really nice curved shape. And also down the bottom and the tip of your nose as well. So now I'm going to be blending that in, stroking downwards, almost into the eye crease, and on the other side. And you can, you don't have to do this, but I really like to do this. I think it really helps give my nose a nice sort of longer looking shape. And so I'm just going to move on to my eyebrows now. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is using a brush up tool to brush them up, make them nice and fluffy. So I'm going to be using my really favourite benefit kit. And it's just a benefit brow kit in dark. I like my brows to be quite dark. So I'm just going to go straight in with the angle brush and shape them out. pad black arts and it looks like an ipad case it's so nice and it's got really beautiful range of colors in it i really like it so it's well worth it and it's so affordable as well like the palettes are really really cheap so you can get this from super drug i'm going to be using my real techniques brushes as well so let's start started on my eyes I think I'm going to go in with this really nice gold down here. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a slightly darker colour. I'm going to go in with this brown right here. brown colour and I'm going to use this underneath my eye. Well, with a uh, red, I 
underneath the eyes for people with green or hazel eyes. Onto my mascara. So I'm using Rimmel London's Volume Colorist Mascara. This is a new one. It's just been featured in Hello Magazine. So it's got quite a wide, quite wide bristles. But it really helps to curl your lashes and separates them out. I don't like clumpy mascara or mascara that does the broken doll effect where all your lashes are all clumped together. I really don't like that at all. I like length and full lashes definitely. absolutely everything so the color is mystery mauve and you can use this for a nude lip you can use it for a red lip you can use it for a dark brown lip you can use it for any lip so mystery mauve avon shade is just fantastic This lip liner just blends it all in and it's just so perfect. I love it. I'm just going to tidy up my Cupid's bow with a pointy brush. One we used earlier. And I like to get the point nice and sharp and just do this. we go. Around the corners. So just to finish off, I'm going to be using a really nice highlighter. This is my Book of Beauty by Pixie Beauty or Pixie by Petra. And these have got the most gorgeous pigmented highlighters in. So I really like to just get my finger in this, this one here and go underneath my brows. It's just so pigmented and it just helps everything come together so nicely, especially around your eye area. And again, just on my cheekbones, just with my finger, like this, and you get such a nice effect. And then I like to do a little bit down my nose, and the point of my nose, and also around here. So I'm gonna go just over any little blemishes that I see and areas that I want to highlight again just with a little bit more concealer or foundation from Vichy Dumb Blend and I'm just going to get Real Techniques brush and just blend these in and this is literally the last step that I do I don't use any powder or anything on my face because I prefer a dewy look and a glowy look Make sure it's all blended in around my eye wrinkles. <laughs> okay, and once more with the contour, going back with my sleep cream contour look just to finish it off. Just around here. And around my cheekbones. And this really does finish the look off. So that's it. 
thank you for watching my get ready with me face and stay tuned because I'm going to be doing my hair and my nails and my lashes as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it.